After that, I repeat to conclude, we are not here to interfere in uh, Indian politics. And when I read, when I read uh, in some newspaper or yesterday on TV that uh, we can be Nazi or I don't know why, it's very strange for me to start a sort of career at 61 years old. But uh, I think if you watch my past in Wikipedia or something like that, I think I won't be Minister of France or I won't be uh, elected uh, 14 times in different uh, functions if I were uh, like that. And uh, if I can give just an advice to some journalists, please, before to write uh, uh, something, read a little bit uh, the biography of people. Thanks for your attention. Variety from different corners of Europe. I'm a liberal um, member of the parliament from Europe. I want to say how much I regret, like my colleagues, the news of the killings last night, terrorist killings. That is a terrible thing, innocent lives taken, families destroyed, wage earners removed to support their families. It's a terrible thing and should never happen and we cannot possibly support or approve that. Europe is a peaceful place after thousands of years of fighting each other. We, since 1945, learned to live in peace together and peace is much the best route for good lives for everybody. Uh, and India is a peaceful country. Uh, it doesn't attack other countries. Where Europe and India have very strong, close links and great deal in common together. So we are here to find facts, to find out. We are your friends. We want to know, can we help? How can we support? How can we improve the situation? And that is the purpose for coming to find out. Yesterday, uh, my colleagues have mentioned we had fascinating meetings with representatives of civil society. I was privileged to talk to quite a lot of people. There wasn't enough time. I talked to teachers. They were very interesting about their schools. Uh, and one man told me um, that there was too much corruption in India and Kashmir. Too much when money comes from central government it doesn't always reach the project or enough of it. It seems to disappear somewhere into the system. So nothing is perfect in life, but we're here to get facts and information and it's been an excellent visit and very well organized. And thank you for being here. Thank you very much indeed for the invitation for this press conference. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my colleagues explain, I think very precisely, uh, the purposes of uh, our visit in New Delhi and Jammu and Kashmir region. Uh, I would like only add that our delegation has 27 members of the European Parliament from Poland, France, United Kingdom, Great Britain, Northern Ireland, uh, uh, Germany, Italy, Spain, Belgium, uh, Czech Republic, Slovakia, from different six. Uh, political groups, six uh, uh, political faction. Uh, we are here because uh, we would like to compare uh, stereotypes, might, uh, imagination about the situation in Kashmir, uh, which exists in the European Union, in our countries, in, in institutions, with the reality, with the facts. Uh, terrorism uh, in Kashmir is not problem only of India. Totally agree with uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Thierry Mariani. Uh, I think it's the, our problem also, it's the problem of our international community, and obviously we uh, need support India uh, for finding of best solution uh, for uh, this problem. Uh, uh, finally, mm, I would like to say uh, that India is obviously the biggest democracy in the world. Uh, it's the reason that we are here not as teachers or judges or prosecutors. Uh, mm, we are here because we like to have better understanding of uh, uh, your problems uh, and uh, in our opinion uh, this better understanding 
uh, is the important background for uh, our international reaction, also include the European Parliament. Thank you much indeed for the hospitality of the government. Uh, I think after our come back to Europe, we can inform our colleagues in the European Parliament and uh, other European institutions about the real situation uh, in India and in uh, Kashmir. Thank you. A question from the members of the media. I would request to be brief and... Uh... How would you respond to them? Because as you all told us about you, all have had a long political career and you've reached a certain level and you've come here to gather your facts and that has been your purpose. So three parts of my question. Mr. Mariani? Oh, you start, please go ahead, sir. Thank down, you. Please. Your long, beautiful experience. I think the, the scenery, the landscape is, uh, is beautiful. So we were really all I think, very impressed by the beauty of, uh, of the region, very impressed by the beauty and uh, very impressed also by the engagement of the people we met. Uh, I will let my the colleague answer for other points. I will just say for the, for the last question, uh, first of all, it's a good sign that India has a very free press. You know, if you look at the neighboring countries of India, you won't see so much freedom and so much democracy in the in other parts of, of Asia and South Asia in particular. So this is this is first a good a good signal. Everybody has the right to say what they think. But just uh, just an element concerning my my personal background. Uh, tomorrow I'm flying to Dharamsala. I will meet for the first time His Holiness the Dalai Lama. We have been very, been very supportive to, to his peaceful vision, so you can understand that uh, I, could be, I could have been shocked by these by this criticisms, which I understood are linked with internal uh, Indian, Indian politics, which is not, not my concern.